Hey y'all, I'm going to try to explain Tied to the Deads a little bit more. So we have that my attack bonus is in use, my defense bonus is in use. Reckless Fury is not activated right now because I need to scout. So I'm going to do that. Now that I sent a scout, we go back up and we can see Reckless Fury. The timer is only five minutes because I'm low level and weak as fuck. Anyways. Um, so now we are going to go inside my town and look at the post office, click reinforce, and it will show you the reinforcements that I have. Now they had done this correctly as the weaker is here first, that is the cat, and then abstract is second. And his, this is his F2, which is the same strength as my F1. Because um, we want to exchange like powers for the strongest and last formation to reinforce. Now, it's going to be a little harder to explain because I'm on easy. This is my first Tide to the Dead in this state. Um, but if we look at abstract reports, he's on normal. That's my scout. Yes, yes. Ah, no. Come back. All right, here's abstract report. We can see that I earned nine points. Not very many, but hey, it's something. Um, now, if we scroll down, it will show I am the reinforcement that lost, right? But I still fought, which is why I got those nine points. Those were the last and what the hell did it just say? Anyways, um his formation his f1 is still there i told him to keep his f1 there because we weren't able to find someone to switch with him but what is the confusing part is we have to look at the report and think that there is an invisible formation right before mine so it would be it's actually his guard tower then my formation, and then his formation that's fighting in this. Um, because it's his own town. And we know it's his own town because it shows him first thing on the report. So if we go to, like, another one, this is this guy's town, right? So. All right. Here we go. Even better. So there was another, who, that was not there before. All right. Um, so somebody else sent another reinforcement for this last wave. So then this person, Inquisitor, actually got more points because they were getting points from this. And anyways, let's ignore that part. Um, So what will happen is the guard tower always fights first, so it will always get points. This is why we send out the formations. Um, I have three formations out reinforcing. Well, it's done now, so I'm going to recall. And so it, you have to think it's however many formations you have plus your guard tower. So I actually get four battle reports we can see whoops one two three four so th my three formations plus my guard tower um, because i sent out all my formations as you can see abstracts formation never fought because the cat's formation always won so that's the difference between that one and this one. And how they look. Hopefully that explains a little bit more. Um, so the physical guide about Ties of the Dead says that all formations must lose except for the strongest, which is the last reinforcement. So this is only if you're stacking reinforcements. A lot of people like to do it easier and just look for, do you have reinforcements? No. Okay. Sending. 
I'm not going to actually send because it's over. And they just send one out to each one because that, that can be enough. But in order to maximize points, if you wanted to get into the nitty gritty, what you would do is make sure each of these formations that are inside are too weak to win each level except for this very last one whoops ah. yeah except for this very last one so that would be how you would maximize those points i hope that explains more i'm kind of losing my train of thought so i'm going to end this now all right time for my adderall bye